Hello my friends, it's Iavilius. In today's video, we're going to delve into the art of making everyone like you. This skill will be immensely useful throughout your life. If you want to be a successful manipulator, remember, you always need to be a wolf in sheep's clothing. So, without further ado, let's get started. As humans, we naturally crave being liked. It's a common drive we all share. Recent studies have shown that positive human contact can boost your self-esteem and physical touch can release feel-good hormones in your brain. Thus, it's clear that being liked by others is essential. But there's more to being liked than just satisfying your instincts and boosting your pleasure hormones. Being well-liked can actually be very beneficial. It not only fills you with a sense of fulfillment, but also provides a reliable network of friends you can turn to in times of need. The more people you know, the more opportunities and assistance you'll have access to, which can significantly contribute to your success. Moreover, being liked strengthens your image. It can make you more persuasive and influential. When people like you, they naturally want to please you, which means you can sway them to your side without coming off as a jerk, because they already like you. The more friends you have, the more you can rely on others. Another great thing about being liked is that people tend to follow trends. If others like you, it increases your appeal and makes you more attractive. You'll become a magnet to people of all genders. People often look for cues from others to decide whether to engage with someone. If you're already liked, you'll be drawing even more people to you. Finally, being liked fuels your confidence. This in turn makes you more attractive, persuasive, and able to get what you want. Confidence allows you to believe in yourself and to win, irrespective of what others think. You'll no longer be hindered by self-doubt or guilt, allowing you to pursue what you want and employ dark psychology successfully. You might be thinking about befriending or even seducing someone. This video will guide you on how to win friends for persuasion purposes, as well as how to attract people. By the end of this video, you'll possess the power to make anyone like you. So, how can you become so well-liked? There are numerous methods. But the first step is to believe in your ability to attract people. Shed any negative self-beliefs where you think you aren't deserving of friends, as this belief alone can cost you potential friendships. Now pay attention and learn how to draw people towards you. Thanks in advance for your help and support. Let's get going. Winning people over is often simpler than you might imagine. You don't have to forge profound, deep connections with everyone you encounter. All you need is for each person to walk away from their interaction with you wearing a smile, carrying a positive impression of you in their mind. We've already discussed Neuro Linguistic Programming, NLP. It's fascinating, isn't it? You can employ NLP techniques to make people like you. The ideas we've previously examined regarding mirroring, communication are all excellent strategies to garner someone's affection. Making a powerful first impression is vital. Your initial impression is your golden ticket to earn someone's favor. As they say in Naruto, the future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. In the context of building likability, your dream is to ensure people hold a positive image of you right from the outset. First impressions are enduring, often your sole opportunity to make someone fond of you. Therefore, you must make it count. Start by being courteous. Utilize your manners. Flash a warm smile. Maintain eye contact. These gestures make you appear like an upstanding, transparent person with no hidden agendas. People will almost instantly hold you in high regard. Moreover, display boldness. Be the first to utter a greeting, to extend a handshake, Introduce yourself to others without awaiting a formal introduction. This forward behavior portrays you as a confident go-getter. Additionally, you want to exude the aura of someone who has their life together. No one desires to befriend a disaster, so you need to present yourself well. Maintain good hygiene, dress sharply, keep your hair well-groomed and styled attractively. Do all within your power to appear appealing to others. Simultaneously, you should preserve your unique style as it will enhance your self-esteem. Primarily, you want to be attractive to yourself, as self-confidence is pivotal to attracting others. You don't have to be stunningly beautiful to attract others. Just being pleasant to look at and smell will help you leave a good first impression. The key to manipulating others' perception is not to eliminate them, but to ensure your name, your impression, is inscribed indelibly in their minds. Forming a connection with someone typically involves finding common ground. You could go the traditional route, asking a series of questions, or you can take a more discerning approach like mine and quietly observe someone over time. By doing this, you can determine their interests, allowing you to say, I noticed that you're into blah blah. I am too. Demonstrating perceptiveness can be particularly impactful. People tend to appreciate that, often feeling a sense of uncanny connection when you accurately discern something about them. This perceived connection may be entirely fabricated, but to your subject, 
It's everything. Becoming more perceptive can involve making educated guesses based on likely scenarios. It's a tactic often employed by fortune tellers. For example, if someone seems down, you might say, I get the sense you had a rough childhood and it still affects you. Many people can relate to a difficult upbringing, but your subject may wonder how you knew feeling as if you can see into their soul. This perception can foster an immediate bond, prompting them to open up to you. Remember, people are naturally drawn to those they can confide in, so offering a sympathetic ear can make you quite likable. Observing someone over a period of time and utilizing your perceptiveness to gather information can also be beneficial. Then you can surprise the person by just knowing things. They don't need to know that you've gleaned insights from past conversations or their behavior. Being open also promotes connections with others. If you're standoffish, alone in the corner with your arms crossed, you won't come across as approachable or likable. Avoid emulating the stereotypical Sigma male. It's an ineffective strategy in life. However, if you project openness, warmth, and agreeableness, people will be drawn to you. Smile at people, initiate conversations, and be open to talking with anyone. Maintain open body language, uncross your arms and legs, stand facing others, and avoid displaying signs that you're eager to leave, like continuously glancing at exits or orienting your feet towards the nearest door. Being expressive can make you seem more open, even if your expressions are feigned. People are attracted to those they can emotionally connect with. Avoid fidgeting or appearing nervous, as it might imply you have something to hide. Also, be open in conversation. Don't be dismissive or rush to end conversations. Avoid giving curt or one-word answers. Don't frown or seem disagreeable. While you don't want to overshare and risk seeming strange, being open to discussing yourself and your feelings can make you seem like a genuine friend who's willing to connect and share. This openness can encourage others to share as well. The more open you are to listening and talking to others, the more people you'll attract. Even if it's all an act, it doesn't matter. What's important is the practice. But as subtly hinted in the anime Attack on Titan, to defeat a monster, you must be willing to throw aside your humanity. The monster in this context is the challenge of making people like you. Sometimes, you need to set aside your true self to win over others. Have you noticed that those who project confidence and take the initiative in conversation often have the most friends? By speaking first, you create the impression of a powerful, self-assured individual with an extroverted nature. This is a key part of the image you want to convey. So aim to speak first and speak the loudest. Don't allow others to interrupt you. Take the initiative to start discussions during meetings. This will capture people's attention and help you stand out in their minds. Being intently focused on someone is incredibly flattering. When you concentrate fully on someone, giving them all your energy, you communicate that you genuinely care and find them interesting. People enjoy feeling intriguing, so by making them feel this way, you will boost their mood. People are naturally drawn to those who make them feel good, so being flattering can earn you friends. Eliminate distractions when you're talking to someone. Avoid even a fleeting glance at your phone unless it's an emergency. Don't stare off into space or at other people. Maintain eye contact and focus intently on the other person. Listen carefully to everything they say. Nod at intervals and ask questions to demonstrate your high level of interest. All right, that's enough for today. As we know, a person can only absorb a certain amount of knowledge at once. In part two, we will focus specifically on sexual seduction, and I'll be setting that video to 18 plus to keep in line with YouTube's guidelines. Thank you for watching up to this point. I'll see you again the day after tomorrow, my friend.